Oh, 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 you're live. You're live. Hey guys, it's Meme and my trusty sidekick. Oh, he's here welcoming in the crafty sidekick. Yeah, we got a name for it. Shenanigans. Oh, yeah. It's great to be with you guys tonight. If it's your first time being here, be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoy what you see. And if you really like it, click that red button and subscribe and ring that bell so you'll get a reminder every time May May Made It is live on YouTube or on YouTube. It gives them a notification when we're live or not, right? Um, even when we just upload a video. Even when we just upload a video. Are you supposed to? you've never been with us before, Everything that you see tonight in this show, you can purchase in our online store at www.maymaymadeit.com, and you can find all the goodies that you'll see tonight there. Um, right after this show, we're going to do another show, and it's called the Crafter After Show. And in that show, we get to talk about whatever we want to, and we usually do. In so, that show, they get to meet Valentina. Yeah. yeah. So, May May. Stick around. Let's go. Stick around because it has to do with weenies. Um, <laughs> it just got worse. No <laughs> fault. Yes, it is. Hey, you guys, are you sick of quilt cards yet? Every time I ask you, you say no, so I'm going to keep bringing them to you until you say yes. I'm kidding. Please don't say yes. It'll hurt my feelings, and then I'll feel like all the work I've done for the last three hours is useless. <laughs> so please don't do that. But I'm very excited tonight because I'm bringing you three new products. Eek. We are ecstatic i cannot wait to show you and i kind of want to wait to show you but i kind of don't want to wait to show you because i kind of want you to see but then again i kind of want you to wait because i think it's kind of fun that to build that anticipation don't y'all love it when i do that i'm like we got three new products that i can't wait to show you but i'm not going to show you i am going to show you so are you ready for this look at these guys let's start with one let's start with one let me do it like this let me do it like this okay so um i'm gonna have to get that mouse back because it moved my screen which is weird. My monitor went sideways. Um, I want to show you guys. I'll tell you this. It helps if you click on the right video. Oh, were you in a different show? Because then you can see what you want to see. Were you in somebody else's show? Okay, check this out. I don't know how to do it for y'all. I don't know how to tell y'all. Okay, so we've been making quilt cards like crazy, right? And we've been doing embossing with our embossing machine to give the look of stitching and so Shannon and I were like why we got to give the look of stitching like that when we could give the look of stitching with ink right look at this look at this this one is called meander because I have learned from my quilt world that this loose no method stitch is called the meander stitch okay so this one's called meander it is a six by six stamp Okay, so it can be a background stamp, but it can also do what we're going to do tonight. Let me show you this. It can also do this. Can you see this? I love this. I have to pause for a second because there's a lag for me to be able to see the monitor, but I love it. I told Shannon, I said, it actually looks like we have quilted this card. We still emboss it. I'll show you that. Okay, we still emboss it, but it actually looks like we have stitched on the card. Oh, it's doing it again, isn't it? It is. It's doing that speed up, slow down thing again. All right, let's fix it now. So will you move us to the other screen? And then I will Back fix it. Y'all just have to see my beautiful shirt. My beautiful shirt. I don't really know why. Like, there's no explanation for this. Yeah, because the first stamp, the first stamp just showed up on camera. I don't know why it does it, but it does it. So we'll see if we can fix it now. Y'all just don't know how techy I am. You'll find out. We have we have <sighs> we have been through it with the tech today, haven't we? Yes. Yes. And yes. All right. Let's see what that looks like. It is. A, it's not. It's it's vertical, not oh horizontal. Gosh. Can we Can't get it? Hmm. Why is it? I don't know. Cause it's not here. Better. Yes. Well, that was strange because I didn't even realize that. Okay. Thank you for liking my lovely shirt. I like this shirt. It's it's my, it's 84 degrees here shirt. <laughs> That's what shirt it is. Okay. Let's see if we can get this going. All right. So can you, you saw the stamp. Did y'all see the stamp? You saw the stamp. Beautiful. I'm a little crooked, but I don't know which way. That way, I think. 
So here's the meander stamp, which I'm in love with. Look at that. And then here it is on the card. I love how this looks. Can you, I don't know why I'm wiggling it like it glistens or something. But <laughs> you see, you see the stitching and kind of the background? It's so cool. SEW, it's so cool. Does it not look like it is stitched? Like we literally quilted this card. I love it. Let me show you in another one where I think you can even see it better. This is with bigger uh, background pieces. And I love it. Ah, oh, they're so cool. Tonight I'm going to teach you a new square. That's what this is for. So I'm going to teach you a new square. See it? See, now I can see the screen. How great, right? Oh my gosh, I love it. But guess what? There's not one. We also did heart strings, which I haven't even got to stamp yet. We've got heart strings. So you can have that. You know how, like, if you have that fancy machine, you can tell it to do shapes? That's what this is, you see? So we got heart strings. And my, fa my favorite name so celestial because it's stars and it's sew -E so celestial come on y'all i love this yes this stamp is all one piece i want to tell you too shannon and i were saying wouldn't it be pretty to stamp this as a background and then color each of the hearts in a different color not even using it for sewing but like color pink like shades of red like red pink maybe like a uh, pale pink, medium pink, hot pink, or something like that, and do that there. And then the same here, do this one in like rainbow colors, rainbow stars. Oh, I just love it. Yes, you can, this is just a stamp. I'll show you. Let's get, let's get busy. Okay, this square I'm teaching you tonight is a little bit crazy. I saw it, I want to show y'all my inspiration picture because it's, it's pretty cool how it ends up looking. You see that picture? What I discovered is the more you're, um, cardstock doesn't match each other, the better this one is. And the brighter colors you use, I think, is better. I'm not sure. I don't know the name of this star. I just found it on Pinterest. I just looked up quilt stars and figured out how to use it, right? So. Yes, they should be live in the store where you can get those yeah, now if you active, want to. They're active, but they're not showing up. I'm figuring out. Shannon's working on it. She can't figure it out, but we'll let you know when she figures it out. She will figure it out. We'll get it. Okay, so do you see what I've got right here? The, okay, so to make this particular square, <laughs> you need four pieces, okay? Because look, this is a different pattern than this, this is different than this, this is different than this. That's what makes this work. Here's what I love, okay? These can be complete scraps. Let me tell you the size of them. They are six inches long, okay? They don't have to be. That's just what I'm using tonight. The reason I am is because I pulled them from six inch pieces. And they are, now listen to me. Here's what you gotta know. They're a half inch plus a sixteenth, okay? You've gotta add that sixteenth to cover this. So it's uh, nine sixteenths, but it's a half inch plus a sixteenth. I want to make that easy for you. Let's look at it on our trimmer. Let me find a trimmer that's not quite so... What do I do with the dress my craft one? Let me put it over here. It's under the queso. <laughs> it's under our queso. <laughs> we had chips and salsa. <laughs> that's why we're a little bit ragged. Okay, look. Half an inch. Okay, so this is half an inch. That one little line next to it. Let me get a pointer. Half an inch is the line between the cut line and one. That's half an inch. That little line next to it is a sixteenth. Now, in a minute, you're going to be like, well, you made me do that, and then we have to cut it off. We're not going to cut all the sixteenths off. <laughs> We're just going to hedge our bits with these sixteenths, okay? So all of these have already been cut. All right, so I'm going to slide these up for a second. Slide them out of the way. These guys are two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Now, I'm using some of my not-so-thick cardstock because it's going to be a lot of layers when we do this one. So, two and three-quarters by two and three-quarters for these guys. It's crazy how this works, and I'll explain it to you as we get going. But what I'm going to do right now is just apply glue to my two and three-quarter square and start laying my strips down. Now, check this out. I'm going to lay one here. And what I want to do is take a minute to stand it up and get it even on the bottom. And you can uh, even even it on the side. Those are six by six stamp sets, aren't they? They are six by six, yep. Not six by eight. Six That's by right. Six. And then what I'm going to do is take the next strip and butt it up right next to it. And then the next one. Make sure they're not labeled wrong in the store. Six by six. Okay. Six by six. And then, ooh, I like this Stamless color better. Link says six by eight. I will for meandering. 
All right, and then one more strip at the bottom. I'm not going to say that I um, decided to show these to y'all last minute. I'm not going to say that to y'all. I'm not going to say this is my fault. They were not supposed to be revealed until the 6th. That's, that's why they weren't showing up. You can't talk about that, though. Cause, cause. I just said they weren't supposed to be revealed to the 6th. Because there's more to be revealed. Okay, check this out. So, do you see how I've got that glued to that? I want to show you the back. Now what we can do is take an extra one. You still need four for tonight, okay? But before you cut this off, look what you can do. You can take an extra piece and go ahead and get you another one for another card. See this? This is kind of cool, right? And I'm not going to put it right up against it. I'm giving myself a little bit of a gap. There we go. So I won't use this one tonight. I'll use this one, okay? But you will have an extra one to, to do it again. All right, so let's cut them apart. And I'm just going to cut them right to the square. This one is our extra. Remember, we're not going to use it tonight. I might say that a couple times because I don't want to confuse you, okay? We're not using this one tonight. We're going to use the other ones. But I wanted to show you how you can get two from six-inch scraps, okay? So right here, I'm going to trim off this little edge. That's about an eighth of an inch that it hangs over, but it's okay to cut that off. I told you, you got to have those sixteenths, and we're going to cut some of them off, and we do, but not too much. So trim this out. All right, so from my six inch strips, I got two blocks. I'm going to put one aside for another day or for another time or whatever, but for tonight I've got one. Now we need to make three more. So now it is chat time. If y'all want to chat, I've got some time. i got a glue. We're still saying or hearing that it's lagging on the desktop. So There is a, I mean, YouTube does lag. I'm looking at my screen and it seems to be keeping up with me pretty good. There's that one. And like I said, the beauty, what I really love about this process, the more they don't match, the better they are. When they really, really match, this pattern doesn't show as well. So this is a great way to use up scraps. This is an excellent scrap buster. It's almost even better not to even look. I will say this though, I think this, I think for this pattern, it's a really good idea, let me show you this, for one of the end pieces to be dark. I'll show you why, because I want this to make sense. Do you see how good you can see that pattern right there? Oh, I see where I made my mistake a while ago. Don't look at my mistakes. Okay, see how good you can see that dark and how good you can see that dark? It looks really good if there's a dark and a dark. You'll see that when we get going. All right, I'll show you that. But a dark on one of the ends is a good idea. All right, so here's our second one. Cut off that little eighth of an inch strip. Second strip. I'm going to put these aside for later. I don't need them tonight, but I can use them again like I showed y'all. Hillary, they are not part of the stamp club. No, ma'am. But if you're a member of the stamp club, don't really? sleep on these. I can say that. If you're a member of the stamp club, don't sleep on them. I mean, it's not a real quilt. You can't sleep on it anyway. <laughs> nothing. Face. I got nothing. Wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, wasn't funny. <laughs> I love that. She ain't afraid to say it. When it's funny, we'll laugh, okay? We'll I'll let you know. Anyways. Hey, we'll let you know when it's funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I Hillary love this. I just love this process. Don't y'all just love this? Don't you just love gluing things to paper and trimming off the edges? I don't know what it is about that with me. I, this, let me show you. I got it done. Here's my favorite part. Thank you, Retha. Retha said I thought it was. Oh, funny. Retha, don't just be oh, sucking so up. Come on, come on, Teacher's Retha. Pet. You can say it was funny Teacher's if it's pet. funny. That is perfectly fine, Retha. I love that part. I think that might be my favorite part. Is the and let me show you how scrappy this is. Do you see this? This is um. Yes, you can get Tina. If you want to come by the store tomorrow, we'll have them here. Um. This is something I was stamping on before and threw it into my scrap bin and ended up using it and didn't use that stamp that I stamped on it. So, all right, there's three. Let's do one more. Bum, bum. Couldn't you put the extra strip? Yeah, I already, I showed that, but I think you missed it. I showed that a minute ago, how you can get two from one. 
I'm just not doing it now because our live show is limited and I need to get this done because it's a lot of gluing. Oh, she even gave you a poor May May. <gasps> Wreatha did? Yeah. <sighs> That's awesome. I never she get, get those. She get those a lot, so we're going to have to frame it. I never get those. Oh, April rushing. April. Oh. I never get them. No one pours me. <laughs> poor May May. No one pours me, me, but I love it. I'm using, quite possibly, my favorite pair of paper crafting scissors. The long Tim Holtz shears. I think they're 9 inch. They should be. It's funny, every time somebody sees my long scissors that's not from here, um, and Kim's talking about it, she's like, they're not scissors, they're shears. They are, and he calls them shears, I think. I, he does. I love them. They make cutting down the side of something so easy. They do. And once you use those for cutting stuff like this off, you can't, like, cut a straight can't line with curvies or anything else. You cannot go back. I'm uh -huh. telling you. It's like, where's my scissors? Like, yeah. no other scissors exist when it's time to use these. Yep. It's so funny. I thought I was the only one that felt that way, but I'm nope. glad you do. Of course, Shannon. I left, my, I left mine at home. Oh. Because they're just good. And I know I'll need them. Okay. Look how beautiful. Not matchy match. <laughs> you don't like them? Shannon gives me no, no grace, y'all. I have to be, I have to be no, on I it. I do like them, actually. She, I could never have done this, but I do like Cause them. Because it doesn't match? Yeah. But it actually makes it look like your grandmother's quilt. Because mm -hmm. grandma wouldn't have cared. Uh -uh. That's the thing no, I love. Did you see what Rebecca everything. said, uh -uh. Shannon? No. Rebecca said, you were pulling my pet did seem very sincere. <laughs> <laughs> That's because it probably wasn't. <laughs> Hey, you guys, I will tell you this. If you watch my friend Penny at So Charming, she's doing a series, and this is so cool. She's doing a series where she's showing you a quilt block that's kind of a vintage quilt block. Like, remember we did the log cabin? Well, she's showing a quilt done in that style and giving you the history of the block and where it came from. That's so interesting to me. And what I love is she talks about what they used to use to quilt with, and it was not things that matched. You know, it was it was flower sacks and um, whatever a gunny sack is. I don't know what that is, but we, people in the South talk about them a lot. And uh, they do. And they use, you know, men's old shirts and old dresses and old aprons and tablecloths, whatever they had. So I love that. Okay, real quick, you guys. So what we're going to do here is we're going to turn this and cut it on the diagonal. So we're going to make two half squares out of it. Half square triangles, I should say, not half squares. Okay, we have a question. Becky H. would like to know, is the nine inch blade length or the entire length of the scissors? I think it's the entire length. Let me look. I don't think they're nine. They're definitely not a nine inch blade. The blade is four and a half inches. The scissors are nine and a half, roughly. So it is the length of the entire set, not the blade length. Now what I want you to do here, I think this is very important. I don't want you to miss that I'm doing this because when you go to do this at home, you're going to get frustrated if you don't do this. And that is sink the blade. So I want you to bring the blade up about halfway into your square and sink it in. Okay. Then holding everything nice and stug, snug, I want you to go up and then down because that seems to be the better way here. And look how sharp my corners can get if I do that. See that? But if you try to go just from the from the blade to the corner, even if you try to go up, it's gonna it's gonna wriggle it. That's the way I like to say wiggle now. It's gonna wriggle it. It's gonna wriggle it. I told Vince, you better get a wriggle on. Okay. Sink the blade. You should probably be sinking the blade most of the time. You should be in that habit by now. I hope so. Melanie, I saw that today was your birthday. Happy birthday. I saw that you're fifty years old. Fifty years I'm old. 50. <laughs> I'm fifty. Happy birthday. 50 years old. Happy birthday, Melanie. 50 is not bad, by the way. I'm enjoying it. I got to tell you all a story. We had, to, we had to. We attended. We got to attend Vince's, one of Vince's best friends. He has lots of best friends, y'all. One of his best friends' 60th birthday this weekend. And um, when we got there, um, they were parking the car. It was a surprise party. So they were parking the cars and all this kind of stuff. So not everybody was inside. So there's a young man that used to be in our youth group years ago <laughs> who was there. And um, they had the number 60 on the... Um, fireplace now i say that adam's what in his 30s early 30s at this point he's jared's age yeah so he's in his early 30s and he's standing there and he sees that 60 it's just me and him in the living room and he goes 60 years old i said yeah and he looks at me he said y'all getting old <laughs> i said hold up adam do not let me into that i'm only 50 <laughs> he was like oh okay make sure we clarify <laughs> it was yeah. cute 
Okay, let me show you what happens now. Now we're going to take one away from each one of these, okay? And I did not do this well earlier, but I'm going to try to do it well now, okay? <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to take one of these guys and turn it like this, okay? And what that means is I've got that small little bit of the point at the top and a long piece at the bottom, okay? Then I want to take another piece, and this one I want the strip to go up, See that? I want it to go up against these, and it'll go like this. It's going to look like we're not building a square. It's going to look like we're building a diamond, but we are, okay? Then do you see where this go these lines go this way? My next one that I put here needs to go the other way, and I still didn't do it right. So let's, I pulled the wrong ones is what I did. So you got to go over here. There's a good one. There's a good one. you got to make sure from all of these that you get the right ones. Does that make sense? They don't all work. That's why you need all of these. Okay, and then right here, we need one that the lines go up and down, and this one will be a good one right here. All right, can you see that pattern a little bit? And you can see why I think if all of these that live here, this one and this one, if, well, that one doesn't have it, but it goes this way. If the lines that live in this point are dark, I think it's a better option. I think it, I think it works better. Let me see if I can change that one. I don't think I can. I don't think I have enough to change it. Now, I wanted to see something because earlier I didn't think I could get two out of this, but now I'm wondering if it was me doing something wrong. Let's go opposite. So now we'll start opposite with that little point at the top there. And then we've got a pink line going down. Okay. And then I need a line going across right here. And then I need a line going down. So you can get two. You just have to see, you just have to feel the layout. Does that make sense? Did everybody get that? So Melody says she was told 50 is the youth of old age. I'll be honest with you. I don't feel a lot different than in my 30s. Now, um, I will tell you this. Melody, getting up off the couch feels different. <laughs> when I turned 40. That feels different. When I turned 40 many years ago, our, uh, quote, adopted daughter said, well, congratulations, you're half dead. You're half dead. Do you all understand wow. this before I move on? That's, that's daughterly love right there. You can get two from the work. So you make four squares, you get two quilts. Okay, I got a thumbs up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend y'all got it. So now let's put them together. Now what I'm going to do, this is a fairly thin piece of cardstock because like I told you, we're already at two layers. Okay, two for one. That's right. All right, and then what I'm going to do, I want to lay this where I can see it. Okay, put that one over there. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to turn it up like this. Okay, so now I know what I can do is take this little guy, turn this around, and I can glue it to one edge of my page here. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to glue this down just like this. Now, I, do you see that I did not go straight to that corner? I'm giving myself just a little bit of room there in case I need it. Okay, so I didn't go all the way to the corner. Let's pick up the next one. I just love how these, I love this. This is a neat square. And I'm telling you, you can use so many scraps because it's better if it doesn't match. The more contrast you get, you can see that from my first one. I'll show you in a second. All right. The more contrast, the better, I think. And even in the picture I was using as my inspiration, they were very contrasty. That's an interesting thought. What's that? Uh, are you for repeat two? It says with the longer strip dark, it could look like a pinwheel. Yes. I don't know the name of this. It may have something to do with it. I don't really know the name. I just found a picture and copied it. So see that? Same process. I think these work better on white. If you put a color behind it, you'll see it. So there's one. Let's go ahead and do another one. And I'm going to go right down here underneath it. Y'all will never have scraps left. Y'all are going to be like, Mamey, we've got to have some scraps. Oh. <laughs> uh Gene, I'll be 60 in April, the end of April. So we're going to enter that 60 club. All right. So I'm going to get these glued down and cut them apart, and then we're going to stamp, which is the fun part. Use that one-sided paper. That's right. You know, Tom, you know, Thomas always said, though, does anybody remember? It's two-sided. He says it's, it's not one single sided, sided, one side's white. <laughs> yeah, y'all be sure to give us them thumbs up now. We got 300. Let me see how many people are watching right now. Let me refresh it. 
Do y'all know why we ask for thumbs up? I think this is important. I watch this one channel and they do this little commercial inside of their video and I think it's so smart. They go. Oh, wow. Yeah, they, we got to have some thumbs up, y'all. We got 721 people watching and just 245 likes. They say this, and this I love, their little commercial. They say, if you're enjoying the content that you're watching, based, they go for free. <laughs> There's a couple of small things you can do for us. One is like the video. And the reason for that is if you like a video, you're telling YouTube, this is good content. This person's doing something good. And the more of those a person gets, the more YouTube shares them around the platform. And that's why they go, there's a couple of small things you can do for us. That one, obviously subscribing helps because that also tells YouTube that. But that's why people ask you to like the videos. If you like it, let YouTube know. And I'm trying to do a much better job. I'm trying to like a lot more videos because people are out there. This content is free. No one's charging you to watch, you know. And I think it's cool if that's what we can do to give back that little thumbs up. It really does help. Y'all may see a commercial in my videos before long because I think it's smart. I love that little thing that they do. Say, yes, I, I will did. be 60 on April the 26th. That's my birthday. Did you see that Vinny, Miss Carol Hodges said, Vinny, you don't look a day over 40. Well, plus tax. So if Vinny's 40, then that means you're 30. That means I look my age. And I'm 30. <laughs> 30. She's 31. That means There's I'm. Only nine years difference in us. That, that means I'm in my 20s. I just ain't had my birthday yet. Keisha said, I'm still trying to decide if I like it. And I appreciate that. I appreciate the honesty. Oh, come on, Keisha. I appreciate it. Okay. Let me show y'all what I did like. here. <laughs> just kidding. You don't have to like it if you don't want to. Let me show you what I did here. This is my meander stamp. I loaded it on my Misty earlier because I was using it, right? Now, I'm going to show you something. You can't go to the far corner of this because... The only way to make these stamps is to have a bleed around them. They call that a bleed. I hate that word too, but that's the only way to do it. For them to stay together, the photopolymer has to move out, okay? So there's a gap. Now, I don't think it'd be that big of a deal, but I don't really like that. So here's what I did. I never used this grid, but I'm using it today, okay? I'm using my grid paper. So I went two grids up and three grids in, and that's where I laid mine. I just laid it right along the edge. But I'll tell you something I think I'm going to change this time. This little... um. This little wording gets in my way. I could switch my paper around and I should, but instead what I'm gonna do is go two up and four in, and then I'll just be running right beside it so I can line up like this. And I'm not gonna be applying a magnet, obviously, because I'm covering the whole card with the stamp. So once you get that down there, you could put a double-sided tape on there or something if you want it to be steel. It's fine. Just do a good job of inking up your stamp. These tiny stitches do really well about laying the ink down. They don't have to hold a lot of ink and they don't have a lot of surface for the ink to pool or anything. And you're like, well, why are you inking up the whole thing? Because I don't have time to be like deciding where it needs to go. I just need to stamp it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to check again. Hmm? It's just ink. It's just ink. Check again. I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to use my impressible. And I'm just going to spend a second on it. You can go around it a couple times. Don't over press too. Let me tell you about these stitches. It does, if you, oh, here's the deal. You can over press if you want a fatter stitch. If you want a thinner stitch, don't overpress. What happens is the photopolymer compresses. Even the misty will allow some compression. So if you press too hard, you'll get a fatter stitch. If you press real light, you'll get a thinner stitch. The kicker is make sure whatever pressure you give it, you give it across the board or else you'll have light ones over here and heavy ones over here. Make sense? Okay. Yeah, so you could ink with any color that you like. Yes. So try I like the wrong. black because I like it to show really well. Look how cute. You could stop here. If you're someone that does not have an embossing machine, stop right here. You've made a quilt, right? I'm gonna, we are still going to emboss it because I love that look to mix that up. Show Cindy, when yeah, I was growing up, my favorite thing was when I my granny would make me divinity. I mean, it's just my absolute favorite candy in the whole wide world. And she would tell me, she lived in South Alabama where it's so humid, you, you know, you just wipe it off of you when you walk around. And she would say, it's too hum humid, it won't set up. Too I said, humid. that's okay. I can eat it with a spoon. So if that cake falls, just slice it up, put some butter on it, we'll eat it. You got to put a little butter on banana nut bread, by the way. Banana nut bread, according to Emmy, is super tasty. It is super tasty. Kind of it's my favorite thing. She's like, Graham's, this is super tasty. I wish I liked it, but. So funny. I've tried it. Okay, I have to show y'all something else. Okay, did we get that? Do you want me? We haven't. Should I? I don't know. I don't know 
know what you're trying to tell me. This <laughs> Shannon, this how do you not know what I'm saying? These. No, we have those already. Interpret it. Interpret it. Oh, she didn't give them to me. You have this one. Before I incite a riot, <laughs> Shannon's going to check and make sure we have that um, that embossing folder. I'll still show you, but I don't want y'all to be upset with me if I don't have it. I know I have this one, so I'll show y'all this new one. This one is called, oh, it's by Eileen okay. Hole again. Um, hold on, hold on. Why does Eileen not, um, Eileen, if you're watching, I've been trying to message you. I want to collab with you in some way. Let's do something. Um, Let's do a she make every. I don't even pay attention. I honestly just buy the ones I like, and it seems it's Eileen most of the time, isn't it? This one is called Woven Leather. You got that right, Cheryl. Always put butter on banana nut bread. Why do they you smell banana good? Banana nut bread. Can't talk tonight. Ah, it's no different than any other it? time. Knitted crochet. Knitted, yeah, knitted is available. Good, I'll use it next. All right, I'm going to use this new one. Woven leather. <laughs> Tell them that story, babe. Woven Loaded leather. leather. We were in the used car business at one point in time, or the car business, I should say, not just used cars. And my mate's used car sales manager was quite the character. Oh, man, was he? Uh, Robert Jordan. Did I say, is that right? Yes. I thought that was right. I mean, he was a card. And his favorite thing to say when a car came in is, it's loaded leather. Loaded leather. <laughs> loaded leather. With a southern. It was never loaded leather. Loaded it was leather. loaded leather. Hey, he was Penny, like, his best southern accent. Penny, 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 Penny. <laughs> Penny. Did you just get here? She did. She forgot it's Tuesday. Penny, look. This is my new stamp set. It's called Meander. It's because of you. Isn't it cool? And then I have this one called Heartstrings. And then I have this one called So Celestial. We think you like them. And that's what we're using tonight. So well, I just. Don't be looking for no cut. It's Meander <laughs> or Amoeba. Yeah, or Amoeba. <laughs> okay, look. So you can see Meander on here. Now it looks like we stitched it. I'll tell you all something. This is a shallow um, Ooh, emboss, but I like barely. it. This really looks like fabric. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this. Blurry. Love it. Hey, to burp your glue bottle, open it. Put like it this, and pat butt. <laughs> put it on your shoulder. No, um, open it like this and then close it back. But do not look, close it till it stops. That's it. Don't put any pressure on it. That's what will happen to and you. I'm just going to tell all of y'all watching every single one of you. If you want my granny's divinity, contact Tommy Miller. Don't do that. <laughs> Tommy Miller is the best <clears throat> divinity since my grandmother's. Look right here, you guys. So this is that one we just did, the woven leather. Now i got to show you this. I have not... a subscriber. Sorry. I got on Divinity. You are on me bad tonight. Every Can time I talk. I talk about anything else? I no. can't talk about nothing. That's the after That's show. That's the after show. I'm sorry. Okay, so look at this. This folder is called um, mm, Knitted. Knit? Knitting. I thought you was going to say mm, Crochet? Um, Stitched. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm still hungry, y'all. I'm sorry. It, she's laughing at me because I'm like, knitted, knit, knitting, it's stitch. It's knitted. It's knitted. X106. Y'all got to see this. I have not done a quilt with this, and it's so pretty. Shannon and I tonight were like, wow, it really looks quilted when we're done. Y'all cannot message Tommy Miller. She is just a sweet person, just like y'all do not yeah, message her. she's just her. a subscriber that brought me Divinity. She's Christmas. not making Divinity. She just does a good I'm job. I'm just saying. She's oh, the closest Eileen thing to my chat. grandmother's Hi, What? Man. So glad you like my embossing folders. Eileen, your embossing folders are my absolute favorite. I've literally been trying to message you, but I can't figure out how to message you on um, Facebook. Um, I'm messing in a technical chat. Technically challenged. I've had the, the worst tech. The worst tech. Ready for this? This one looks so quilted. Look at this. There's something about... Okay, here, look at the back. See this? I'm so excited Eileen is here. That is so cool. Check this out. Isn't this so beautiful? And these are both her folders. This one's hers too, right? Yeah. No. Is it? Is I is knitted yours too? Or is it knitted? You told me. It is knitted. Is it hers as well? I don't know. But they're so good. Typically, and she knows because she's seen this before. Typically, I use, um, I call it, is it blanket? Let me get it. Okay, since you're here, Eileen, I sure wish that they would put the names on these. Would you make a suggestion? <laughs> no, 
knitted is not. Okay, but this one is. This says Eileen, and this one is called, I think it's called Blanket. Anyway, that's the one I usually use. But look how good it looks with this one. I just love them. So that is that. Now, let me show y'all the finished card. Oh, yeah, I showed it. Let me show y'all the finished card again. Ha <laughs> card again. Get it, card again. Okay. Come on, Lee. Tablecloth. It's not blanket. It's tablecloth. I do it every time. It's tablecloth. It's tablecloth. Okay, so here's the two we did tonight. And remember, we, out of, um, out of, how many strips was it? It was 20. 20. I did 26 by 9 16th or half inch plus a 16th strips, okay? And you can get four quilts because remember, I showed you how to get the extra one. Remember that? So you can get four quilts and then turn them into using this. Isn't this cool? I love the stitching. I think it'll be so cute. And I can't wait to play with these. I haven't even got to. And like I said, these can just be backgrounds. They do, <laughs> they do not have to be stitches, but how cute is stitches, right? So I love it. I hope y'all love, I hope y'all love these. I think you will. Um, I think this turned out beautiful and I love the different, um, patterns. I also love that. Honestly, I, Hey, um, Penny, is it, is it a thing that the more unmatched the strips are, the more you see it? Is that like a thing in quilting? Like sometimes it's good to have things not matchy like unmatchy matchy. I, I don't, I mean, she'll be honest because she laughs at what I try to put together in the quilt shop. <laughs> Thanks, Eileen, so much for being here. I love that you're here with us. That's so sweet. I know, it looks so real. It really does. It looks like an actual quilt. I can't wait to see the other um, patterns either. And do y'all love the name Celestial? Celestial? Celest oh, now I can't say it. Celestial. Celestial. So less you Okay, so it is a thing. So messier colors and just throwing together scraps is a thing. I love it. All right, guys, um, I need you to come to the after show because I need you to meet Valentina. How many weenies can one girl have? I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> Go to the after show so we can talk about whatever we want to and I can let you meet Valentina and I can show you some new product. Listen, if you don't do anything, Come to the after show to see something I've got that's new that I haven't even opened yet, and I cannot wait to see it. Oh, I cannot wait. So, I'm going to wait for, um, you're so cool, Eileen. That, that is so, so um, cool. That's a, that's a big honor for me. Big honor. Polly said I made the It's a Cardigan. I love the cardigan stamp set. It's a cardigan. Okay, there's the after show um, link. Click on that.